The other feature that's, uh, that's going to be added is going to be the ability to add custom toolbar. So uh, I'll show you that really quick, show you how to add a custom toolbar. Uh, so it lets you add any tool that we have, but you can create your own tab uh, and then add the tools that you want. So let's go create a custom ribbon menu item. So I'm going to create a new tab. And I'm going to uh, rename it. And so then I'm going to pick out um, from which existing items that we have and I can add tools from those. So let's say I'm going to choose the map and let's say I want to add drawing a profile uh, to my new custom toolbar. Uh, I'd like to be able to draw a 3D view. I'm also going to add some uh, point cloud task on there, the ability to execute tasks. So I'm going to try to group all this together. So I'm going to be able to act, execute by the layer, by point, by line, and by polygon. And I'll also add some classifications, some manual classification on there. So uh, we'll be able to classify by a large rectangle, let's say a medium circle. So from there, I can export this as well. So this is nice. I can create custom tabs and I can share them with my group, with my team, so they can import and use these for processing their data. I'll say OK. So now the tab there uh, has, has the name that I gave it, and then it has all the tools that I added. So this is going to allow me to create, um, you know, if I find that I'm using certain tools more often than others, uh, I can just add those onto one single toolbar and then use only the tools that I use most frequently. So they'll keep you from switching back uh, forth between tabs even. So, so that's what the new user interface is going to look like. Um, we're pretty excited about this. We've been getting this request for some time now. So uh, we're, hope, we're looking forward to releasing this and hopefully it'll be an upgrade for your, uh, your LP360 experience. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us on LP360.com. Thank you.